What's up you guys, Aftershot Reacts here and today I'm going to be reacting to another pilot episode. This was selected by L, so thank you so much for your support. Um, oh my god, I have powder on me. <laughs> Makeup powder. I'm like, oh, that looks interesting. Uh, right, so this is Person of Interest, uh, Season 1, Episode 1, uh, which is titled, uh, doesn't actually have a title on it. Um, so yeah, let's uh, get into it. When you find that one person who connects you to the world, you become someone different. Better. When that person is taken from you, what do you become then? Is this the same guy? What do you want to do, you know? What? Hmm? What, would you get that in a cereal box? Huh? You want to see a real gun? Every little punk is carrying now, Anton. That's why your father wanted us to take the car home. Relax. Picking up a new hardware next week, restore a little order. Besides, when we take the car, we don't get to meet new friends. You didn't bring enough for the whole group. Why did they go? I have to teach you about sharing. from the bum. Which hospital did they take him to? He declined treatment. We got video on it, though. You know, could have done me a favor and let those guys land a couple more punches. Question for you. Looking at that tape, i say you spent some time in the service. I did. Army. Two tours in Iraq. But you don't learn how to fight like that in the regular army. So what were you, Special Forces? Delta? I'm Carter. You didn't give us a name. You know, it's funny. Best parts of your life. You don't need a name. You get to be dad, sweetheart, pal. It seems like the only time you need a name now is when you're in trouble. So am I in trouble? Interesting. I don't know. You tell me. You're the one living on the street. You're not from here, are you? What, you just passing through? I came to find an old friend. I'm here for my client. Wow, wow. You guys, Prince, were found at half a dozen crime scenes over the years. Open warrants in four different countries. Missing persons here in Queens, 07, three guys disappeared. What you got down there, Carter? Angel of death? I appreciate the help, counselor. But who's picking up the tab? Our employer wants to have a word with you. Do I owe you money? Because I'm uh, running a little short at the moment. You don't owe me anything, Mr. Reese. That's uh -huh. the name you prefer, isn't it? This is the guy that's on Harry at the moment. Don't worry, I'm not going to tell anybody about you. You don't know anything about me. I know exactly everything about you, Mr. Reese. I know about the work you used to do for the government. I know about the doubts you came to have about that work. I know that the government, along with everybody else, thinks you're dead. I know you've spent the last couple of months trying to drink yourself to death. I know you're contemplating more efficient ways to do it, which would be a shame. So you see, knowledge is not my problem. Doing something with that knowledge? That's where you'd come in. Who sent you? Nobody sent me. You can call me Mr. Finch. I think you and I can help one another. Okay. I don't think you need a yeah. psychiatrist or a support group or pills. What do I need? You need a purpose. More specifically, you need a job. Someone is murdered in New York City every 18 hours. It's like musical chairs. At the end of the day, one of these people will be gone. Bad things happen to people every day. You can't stop that. What if you could? Not the things that happen in the heat of the moment, but so many crimes are planned days, weeks in advance. What if you could stop those? Let me guess. You're a psychic. <laughs> no psychic, no magic, none of that. It's funny, when I was a kid, I wanted a jetpack. I wanted a summer house on Mars. Then I realized I was living in the information age. 
this was a shocking disappointment to me until I realized how revolutionary it was. All of us are leaving a trail of information in our wake. Most of it's useless. There's something hidden in all that mess, faint outline of things to come. The right person in the right place for the right information to change everything. This is the problem I have, Mr. Reese. I've got a list, a list of people who are about to be involved in very bad situations, murders, kidnapping. Where did you get this list? Can't tell you. You'll have to trust me. The people that are on my list, they have no idea that anything's about to happen to them. Most of them are just ordinary people. Like who? Like her. Thank you. Her name is Diane Hansen. And this week, she's at the top of my list. You think something bad is going to happen involving her? It's not that simple. I don't know exactly what's going to happen or what her role in it is. She might be the victim. She could be the perpetrator. All I know is that she's involved. I want you to follow her, figure out what's going to happen, and stop it from happening. Why not call the police? If anybody knew I had this list, it would be problematic. You would name your own salary, expenses, whatever you need. So what do you think? I think you're a bored rich guy. Hundred million a week. I think that woman's probably your ex-wife or someone you rode in an elevator with once. And either way, I think I'm done. For a homeless man for further questioning, the unidentified man was originally believed to be the victim of a violent assault on the subway, but now police consider the man a person of interest in a number of crimes. Yeah, this is the title. Jessica, what's wrong? You need to understand, Mr. Reese. The information I have is incomplete, but it's never wrong. You need to know what it would be like to be forced to listen to someone get murdered and oh. not be able to do anything about it. Oh, I didn't realize. Sorry, I was looking down at my phone because I was googling that girl. I feel like I've seen it before. Too late. This recording is three years old. A woman murdered in this room by her husband. For the insurance. You were too late for her. Just like you were too late for your friend Jessica. You were halfway around the world when she was killed. What the hell do you know about it? It's the truth. You left the government because they lied to you. I never will. A man with your particular skills can make a great deal of money in some corners of this world, but you don't do it. I think all you ever wanted to do was protect people. I guess I know her from Gossip Girl. That's a wiretap recording. Yes. I'm in a safe I place. Government. Okay, I missed what you're you said. You're not government. No, I'm not. It's a wiretap recording. In a safe place. Government. And you're not government. No, I'm not. I guess you could call me a concerned third party. You couldn't have saved this woman or your friend. But you could have if you had known in time. And that's the other thing I'm offering you, a chance to be there in time. It's not too late for her. You could help me stop what's about to happen. The question is, will you? OK. This is your list? Yeah. But you don't get names, do you? These are social security numbers. And each of them map out to a violent crime. And all of these numbers represent lost chances. I could be a lot more help to you if you just tell me where you're getting these numbers. Doesn't really matter where I get the numbers. What you need to know is that the next number that's up is hers. Trust works both ways, Finch. If telling me where you're getting these numbers would put your life at some kind of risk. It would put a whole lot more people than just me at risk. I'd say that trusting an alcoholic ex-government hitman is a greater challenge than trusting a middle-aged cripple. I have one more address for you to check out tonight. Given Hanson's job, we've got hundreds of people who could be holding a grudge. So I'm starting with the people she seems the most worried about. I cut the list to three. The first is Lawrence Pope, the man Hanson is currently prosecuting. Detective, you went a little off script in your testimony. You never told me about that conversation, and it could clear Pope's name. What's it matter? We got the guy. Well, it matters because it's my job to make absolutely sure that the wrong people don't go to jail. Do you remember? Excuse me, I thought we were on the same team. You got time to talk? Maybe I can buy you dinner. I'm busy. Um, another time? Is something wrong? No, I'm fine. Thank you. The second person I'm looking into is Wheeler, a 
co-counselor. Why? Well, they dated for a few months last year. She broke things off. And 40% of murders involve some kind of romantic relationship. Also, Wheeler's divorced, one kid, partial custody, alimony, upside down on his condo, career stalled. I asked. Same. I can't get the time off. Listen, Mom, I... I know you haven't been cashing the checks. It's not charity, I'm your daughter. I know, I know you worry about me. I, I'm fine. You said there was a third person you were looking into? Ex-comic named Charles Robinson. Hanson and Wheeler prosecuted him three years back. Armed robbery. Robinson wrote them love letters from prison. He's the first one I'm gonna be looking into. Okay. Robinson was released two months ago, and Hanson pulled his file last week. Might turn the lights off, just because. Don't move. I don't have much. Sorry. You're welcome to take whatever you need. I've been where you've been. I don't think Robinson is our man. Because he burned through a box of highlighters on his King James Bible. None of it Old Testament. None of it Revelations. Pope's got a brother. It's in his case file. Got it. Did he see the real killers? You should leave us alone, lady. I can do the time. Figure I'd make amends for all the things you never called me on. Because I'm bad. These people are evil. Killing when they want. And they protect it from on high. You keep asking questions, they'll kill me and my brother, and probably you too. Whoever these people are, you can trust me. We'll take care of you and your brother. If the killers are out there, I'm gonna find them, whether you help me or not. It's my job. Now, why don't you. Bitch! <laughs> keep your damn mouth shut. I'll shut it for you. Okay, why was there okay. not a cop in okay. there with her? Bitch. You were right about Hanson. Whoever framed Pope will be coming after her, and only Pope's brother, Michael, knows who they are. She's trying to track down Pope's brother, Michael. He can ID the real killers. And she's stonewalling Wheeler. What, does she think he's involved? Remember, Pope said they were protected from on high. Wait a second. Turns out there's a good reason she doesn't trust Wheeler. He might be working with the killers, and they're after Michael Pope. We better get to this kid before someone else does. Michael, can I talk to you for a second? Of course he runs. Yeah, I got a message from your brother. I don't know my brother. Exactly, but I know what you saw. And I'm not the only one looking for you. You need to come with me. Hey! Help me! Hey, this man is trying to pull me in a taxi cab with him! He's trying to take pictures of me! What's going on? How you doing? Michael Pope's still on the subway. When he comes up for air, you can use the GPS on your phone to find him. Pope's right about these guys. I'm gonna need a hell of a lot more than a cell phone. About that, I don't like firearms very much. Well, neither do I, but if someone has to have them, I'd rather it was me. Besides, my friend from the subway has a line on some lightly used steep discount. Are you planning on buying that one? I'm just showing Put it back on the table before somebody else kicks your ass. Have you guys seen the men's room? Hey, Anton. Good to see you again. You know this guy? Ah, uh, that's some pretty serious equipment. Have you guys taken a safety course? Take you, for instance. You're holding that thing sideways. You can't aim it. And two, it'll eject a shell casing right into your face. See? I'm gonna hold on to these while you guys get some more practice. Have a nice day. Who the hell was that? 97 through Riverside. Step on it. We're gonna put a couple in the back of his head. Make it look like a gang thing. You gotta do something. Relax. I'm on it. Keep the change. The taxi driver didn't say that at all? Okay. Both dead now. Do you know who they are? I do now. Cops, come on. Cool, corrupt cops. What exactly you got me into? I don't know. That's the whole point. I hired you to help me figure that out. I think we're up against a group of corrupt cops. I think their next target is Hanson. I don't know for certain. 
Well, I don't know anything for certain because you won't tell me where you're getting your information. After the attacks, the government gave itself the power to read every email, listen to every cell phone, but they needed something that could sort through it all, something that could pick the terrorists out of the general population before they could act. So when they finally got a system that worked, they kept it secret. So how do you know about it? I built it. So where's the machine now? Who knows? Government facility somewhere. But the machine? The machine is everywhere, watching us with 10,000 eyes, listening with a million ears. You gave yourself a way to communicate with it. I was building the government a tool of unimaginable power. I thought maybe an off switch would come in handy. So I built myself a back door into it. To access the irrelevant list. Just a social security number. If anyone ever found out, I'd lose access. So nine digits, that's all we get. I don't know if I can protect the answer. I can't see the whole picture. I offered you a job, Mr. Reese. Never said it would be easy. You wanted to meet Remsen and Avenue D in Canarsie 20 minutes. Finch, it's happening now. How would you ever just meet anyone in an alleyway? In here? Hell? Never a good idea. Hello? I was Hello. gonna say this before, she looks kinda like Blake Lively. I don't know, she just kinda reminds me of her a little bit. You can keep me waiting still, so we don't have time for this. Hope is dead. His brother is gone. And we're still searching for the clown who took him. The problem is Wheeler. You idiot, he knows. He knows about Hope and, and maybe even some of the others. I told you, we should have taken care of this guy weeks ago. I even found the shooter for you. Stop dragging your feet on this. How much time do we have? 24 to 48 hours before he goes to the DA. Tops. I can take care of the files at the office, but you have to take care of Wheeler tonight. Hey, look what I found. We got ourselves a groupie. Heavily armed, too. You know this guy? No. You're not law enforcement. Cartel finally grows some stones? Who the hell are you? Concerned third party? <laughs> He's alone. That's what he is, so he doesn't matter. Take care of him and uh, get rid of Wheeler tonight. Make it look clean. Well. I wasn't expecting her to be the bad guy. Nice spot. Slice the bay. Glad you like it. You're gonna be here a long, long time. I'm curious. Was there a point where you knew you'd become a bad guy? I got a mortgage to pay same as everybody else. I woke up one day and I realized I gotta guide these assholes down on Wall Street robbing everybody blind. They're stealing more than my annual salary in the afternoon. So I said, what the hell? I don't believe you. See, I've been watching you, Lionel. And I think there's a big difference between you and your friends. Your heart's not really into it. Still, as he does it for money, but I think you do it because you're loyal. What's the difference? That's why I'm gonna let you live. <laughs> yeah. I'm considering sticking around New York for a while. If I do, I'm gonna need someone on the inside. Ah, so I'm working for you now, huh? That's right. But I've got two rules. One, you so much as hurt anybody kill you. I don't particularly like killing people, but I'm very good at it. And two, you have to be more careful. For instance, if you're going to put someone in the back seat of your car, you have to search them properly. What the you know, I always see these scenarios where, like, they trash the car to get out, but, like, just saying, that could have killed you. You have your vest on, officer. I guess to make it look like you got away clean. So now, essentially, you're telling us you couldn't see what was happening in the parking lot at all. I'm done, Your Honor. Miss Hanson, the state isn't paying you by the hour, Counselor. Why don't we have the defendant tell you in her own words? Let's listen to the 911 call she made. And hey, take care of Wheeler tonight. Make it look clean. Still, you screw this up, I won't let it get to me. I'll take but care of you just like I did. This, like, home. not stand up in a myself. court of law? You know that. Because it's not like a sound of mind or recorded by. I don't know. I don't know how law works. You ready to get to work, officer? I'm no good to you. I'm dead. Just a matter of time before the gangs get me. Or I, eh? No one knows you're involved. I took care of that. Besides, I'll be too busy looking for stills. The police will think he's run for it. The gangs and the mob will think he's gone witness protection. Is that where he is, witness protection? No, Lionel. 
He's in the trunk. I gave him a choice, and he chose wrong. Only problem is, uh, I had to shoot him with your gun, and you'd have a hard time explaining that one, so you'll be taking another trip, but I'm not coming along this time. Where am I going? Oyster Bay, where no one's gonna find him for a long, long time. I'll be in touch. You have a decision to make. The machine gave you another number. The numbers never stop coming. You should know that up front. Two questions. First, why me? I've been watching you for a long time, John. We have more in common than you might think. The world thinks we're both dead, for starters. You said two questions. Well, that's Program really the machine to delete those irrelevant numbers. Now you're trying to save them. What changed your mind? Let's just say you're not the only one that's lost someone. If you want to leave, I'll give you enough money to get as far as you need. I would think that maybe Disappear. one of the irrelevant numbers was somewhere maybe that you stay. For. They'll come looking for you. The police, the mob, your old friends at the CIA. If you stay and we continue to do this, sooner or later both of us will probably wind up dead. Actually dead actually this time. As well, so. I said I'd tell you the truth. Didn't say you'd like it. What's up you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content, like this very edit, for example, uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to, you're helping support the channel, and in return, you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube, such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below, and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats. If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. Alrighty, yeah, well that was Person of Interest, Season 1, Episode 1. Um, I feel like I didn't say much during the reaction. Um, sometimes this just happens when I'm like reacting to a show, I suppose, um, where I just kind of like watch. <laughs> Uh, and I don't really have much to say, uh, which is always kind of a shame and I always feel really bad, especially, um, if someone's, like, requested it at the pilot here, because, like, you guys expect a reaction and I feel like I don't, I feel like I don't really give you one. Um, yeah. So, this was alright. Um, as pilots go, it was pretty, like, standard. Um... It showed, like, you know, the, the the core concept of what the show will be. And I'm, I'm assuming uh, that... I'm pretty sure it's a procedural. Yes? No? I don't really know. A lot of people have requested uh, this show, actually. Um, in the past. 
I think people have stated that it was a procedural on, and like just based off of this episode, it might seem like that, but obviously it might um, have like a through story um, with like the CIA and all that kind of stuff, finding out that he exists, he, he's alive again. Um, I think the concept is pretty cool, like, you know, knowing that something bad's going to happen and being able to prevent it. Um, I wasn't expecting that it was, uh, the woman. Um, I thought he was really good at, like, fighting and everything like that. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, the flashbacks, which I just sort of never concluded. Um, there's like a couple flashbacks and maybe they continue on in other episodes, but like for this specific episode, they never really concluded the flashbacks for this episode. Um, it was just like, they were talking about 9-11 happening, I think, um, on the TV. And then that was the end of the flashbacks. There was no like, another flashback where he's like, I have to go back or this is how this affected me or anything like that. Um, which I thought that was a little strange. Um, the flashback just felt incomplete for the episode, if that makes sense. Um, it's interesting seeing, like, I don't know what his name is. The dude that's also on Arrow. Like, kind of being a, like, computer person again. Um, but in a different manner, like, he's not a bad guy <laughs> that we know of. Um, but yeah, I don't really have much to say. Um, it was decent. Um, what did you guys think? Let me know. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Uh -oh.